Here we go, guys. Civil War in which the government decides to clamp down on superheroes and force them to register as superpowered beings. Iron Man is all for it. Captain America is against it. All the superheroes split up into two teams and fight each other. And that's all you need to know. Was the execution everything that it could have been, in your opinion? No, honestly, no. I felt like the beginning, it starts off strong, and I feel like it kind of peters out towards the end, and then the ending's not the greatest. I felt like it was a little rushed, actually. I wish it would have had more issues in that particular run to maybe uh, flesh out some of the context of the superheroes and their conflict and why they chose what side they picked. But from what we got, it's not bad. I feel like it could have been done a little better had it had more time, I think. Okay, so going in, you do have some backstory. You know where these characters come from, Spider-Man, Captain America, Iron sure. Man. <laughs> and knowing that, is this a good story for people that have read these Marvel comics for a long time? Sure. Yeah, I think it's interesting. I mean, for me, I think it's interesting because it's a, a good story that's based in sort of uh, post 9-11 America and questions around are you with what the government wants or against it, uh, questions of freedom, who's watching who, that kind of stuff. So so I think it works in that way from a political angle. There's the stuff in there where like the baddies all get together and they get recruited to help fight. Mm -hmm. So that whole sort of like the enemy of the enemy is my best friend kind of stuff, which is terrible foreign policy. I think, We've seen I think the correct quote is, is my bestie, but okay, yeah. we're not going to... Yeah. Okay. Worry yeah. about that. I would say the art was absolutely gorgeous in it. The story, I felt like, was a little unfocused. And it's not the best kind of story maybe for a new person to get into the Marvel Universe. But it opens up a lot of ideas between the superheroes and Registration Act and all that stuff. So overall, I think it's pretty good. It's not bad. So do you think this story is good for people that have not read 75 years worth of Marvel comics? I don't know. I mean, I think if you have some knowledge of who these characters are a little bit, that would be good. Going in completely cold may be a challenge. Well, because here's the thing is we just did a little audio review with like 30 people mm -hmm. and there was a lot of negative reviews of this comic. I was surprised by that. Like, mm -hmm. what do you think is the reason why so many people, like despite the fact that Civil War is one of the best selling comics of the 21st century, why do you think there was so many negative reviews tonight? Because everybody's in the book and because everybody's in the book, you get a few pages with all of these characters. So if you don't already have some idea of who those characters are, it can be kind of confusing. You're like, all right, who's the gal in white? Uh, who's this green woman who, on, on that one page? Emma Frost, she yeah. go ahead. Yeah, we get a nice uh, <laughs> close-up of her booty. You know, so it, uh, and then just sort of questions as to, I mean, I guess you have to understand the various powers mm -hmm. and sort of maybe... Um, previous uh, beefs, I guess you would say, in the rap world. Uh, East Coast, West Coast uh, comic book rivalry kind of thing. I understand that reference. So who's the Tupac, who's the Biggie, you know, that kind of thing. What's your favorite moment in this comic book? How Peter Parker has to kind of go back and forth. Mm -hmm. Like, he thinks his allegiance is one way, and then he had to think about it and go, I don't know about mm -hmm. that. And then when he unmasks himself, and then Jonah Jameson, who for... 50 years has been trying to figure out who Spider-Man is. Yeah, that could have been a book unto itself. I know that you have mixed feelings about Civil War, but give us something. What was your favorite scene in Civil War? Or was there a favorite scene? I have two favorite scenes in Civil War. The first one being Peter Parker's reveal of his unmasking. Sure. That was excellent. And also, I just love Punisher and how he was kind of like a rogue. There's like a couple supervillains that want to join up on Captain America's side and they just come in. They're like, hey, we can help you guys. And Punisher just like immediately murders them because they're bad. And that's what he does. And he's like, what? Well, he's like, what, what did guys? I do? They were bad. Like, he just immediately like shoots them and kills them. I thought that was pretty awesome. But because like I like ultraviolet, so. <laughs> I didn't like the ending. I had to reread the ending about four times to figure out why one character decides to stop. And I'm not going to ruin it for you. Don't spoil it. So, um, so that was kind of a conundrum to me. And I'm like, what? I'm like, where did that come from? Because it seems to kind of come out of nowhere. All right, maybe, maybe. But knowing what you've read in the story, are you looking forward to the movie? Um, to be honest, the trailer didn't have me super duper hyped, but I'll still watch it because I want to see how it all pans out. And it looks like it'll have some good action in it. I'm not sure how much they're going to use from the comic book version. So I guess I'll be just as surprised as everybody else at the events in the movie. Knowing that there is a movie coming out called Captain America Civil War. Are you looking forward to that movie? Sure. Yeah. Yeah. But I, I still have to watch the first two Captain America movies. Oh. 
I'm I'm really behind on my Marvel films. So overall, uh, an average person that's never had a comic comes into the store. Are you going to recommend that they read Civil War or not? I would say no, to be honest. Okay. I would say no. So here we go, guys. Longtime Marvel Comics reader Robert St. Mary says Civil War recommended? Sure. Yeah, I gave it a seven. So what's an alternative? If they wanted to read one comic, what would you tell them to read? Um, well, anytime anybody asks me about getting into comics, I either recommend them Watchmen, Saga Swamp Thing. I usually say older stuff. I, I usually don't tell them newer comics. I say start with a start, pick a guy, pick a person you want to read about, and start with their old stuff, and then kind of work your way to the new things. But Watchmen, I think, should be require reading for anybody, whether they like comic books or not. I, I think you should pick this up if you get the chance. Maybe don't start with this comic, but it is a good mm -hmm. series. What? Recommend it, read it, read it again, read it a third time. Mm -hmm. Then watch the movie. I'm sure the movie will not be as good. This is a good comic. Civil War. There you go.